Hey guys, today we are going to see what is shape and how to reshape a tensor in TensorFlow. In the past videos, we have seen how to define a variable in TensorFlow and then how to find rank. You can find the videos in the description. And now we will see how to see the shape of a tensor. So what is a shape? So let's take an example in tensor of rank 2 we have this list inside a list so when we run this code what do you think will be the answer think so when we run this we get a result of 2 comma 2 so what does this indicate it indicates that we have two lists Yes, we do have two lists inside a list. Inside a list, we have first two lists, and two lists have two elements in it. Yes, that's correct. Now let's define a tensor 3 with two two elements each. And as you can see, there are three lists, and in that we have one more list and in the last list we have two elements and tensorflow is equal to just two elements in the last list let's run this and what will be the answer of this thing and as you can see we have one big list in that we have two lists yes and in the two list we have two elements and that is how you get the shape of the list and in tensorflow we have to have a uniformity in a symmetry if i delete this and run i'll get an error because it is not uniform so keep that in mind you have to be uniform so I'll add hey and run it again. Okay. And in this, what is the answer? Let's run it. And as you can see, we have one list. In that, we have two lists. Yes. And in the two lists, we have one element. So that is how you define, you get the shape of the list. Uh, shape of a tensor flow and keep in mind that it should be symmetric now the fifth uh, Now how to reshape yes, we can reshape this into another uniform another symmetric vector uh, tensor flow Variable and this is how you do it first. We should know how many elements are there so in tensor 3 we have four elements so we can reshape it in any other form where it will have four elements in it so i can have a two list in which two elements are there and the last it has one element so let's see so yes so we have a third list with two elements and then the second one has two elements and the last list has one element in it if we can also write we can also do add everything in one and have a list of four elements and let's print that And here you will see we have four elements in one list as we wanted and we reshaped the tensor 3 in this form and if anyone knows why we get this B comment in the comment section and at last one another example of reshaping tensorflow 4 in two elements one elements one element let's see what's the output and as you can see we have a first list 
with two elements then another list with only one element and in that only one element as what we are expecting so thanks for watching and comment if you have any other doubts and stay curious keep coding